G'day and welcome, my name's Matt, I'm from DIY Data. Um, just going to do a quick video on this little project I've been working on for a little while. Um, it's just a uh, full drive air compressor um, that originally was just a free-flowing nozzle. Um, what I am trying to do is get this little guy connected which is a um, air shutter valve and these wires which are currently just joined for some testing I was doing go there and that's in line with the shut off switch so basically once it hits 120 psi I think it's 120 yeah um, turns off so I can use a like trigger style inflator so when you're not when you're like changing tires it'll pump up to 120 psi cut off and sit there until you release the pressure and start inflating the next tire like a um, more expensive compressor ran into a bunch of issues with this first one being the original connect original air outlet was really badly tapped this is actually this is the original one but I've actually done a couple of things but ended up deciding to just scrap it and make a full new one which I have made a few mistakes on but I've made it work this time what I've done so far is I've had to rebore the outlet of the compressor head and retap it. I think it is tapped, was it 3 8 Whatever the other end of this is, which is I think 3 8 I can't see it, there you go. 3 8 um, BSP, I think. Originally that was metric, but this was just so ballsed up I had to retap it as yeah 3 8 BSP which of course I had, had to wait had to order the tap and matching die which is not yes it is, uh, is that the matching die no that's the quarter inch one anyway I had to wait for the tap and die to get to that part of course when I got it realised the 3.8 BSP is huge and doesn't fit in a standard die holder. So before I could tap this part which ended up being this part then a part, another part and then this is my third attempt at making this. Now, before I could do all that tapping, I had to make a die holder. So that's my die holder. It's nothing too fancy. A couple of rods, a bit of, um, what's that, like quarter inch. That's oh, probably thicker than a quarter inch, isn't it? Whatever the um, thickness of that uh, pipe is. Um, that was just a piece of plate that I kind of roughly cut into a circle. Then chucked it up in the four jaw chuck, turned it into a circle, marked some holes, drilled and tapped them. I think they're like M4s. Gave myself a die, die holder. Which, yeah, that then allowed me to do this. Um, <clears throat> I think the issue I'm having at this point in time is. Because I don't, I, I don't, didn't have a any other tap that was fitting. This this piece of aluminium, which originally screwed in to this block, which didn't originally have a hole in it. So you can see that doesn't really fit in there. But I'm fairly limited with my the taps and the dies that I have. So what I had to do was cut off about 10 mil of that 
and the, then re-tap that, re-thread that at, um, I think that's quarter inch BSP, and so that on the new part is quarter inch BSP. So if I actually, so that will screw in there basically. The issue I'm going to have, that is kind of where I'm at now, is this end. This just has a quarter inch BSP, pretty sure that's a quarter inch BSP, fitting, screws in there. But, it's not really going to show very well because I kind of have to wrestle everything. But, you can kind of see with that kind of roughly lined up and that kind of roughly lined up. Because I had to shorten that end 10mm to do the thread. I'm going to have to lengthen this 10mm somehow. So this, uh, what was going to be a fairly simple air compressor mod has taken me several months of a little bit waiting around, a little bit waiting around. On the outside I haven't been able to go anywhere, it's pretty much the entire project because of COVID. So I'm hoping I can get this done before I want to use it again. Anyway, that is my little air compressor mod. I've seen quite a few people doing this same mod and um, usually what they do is use a T-piece on the end here but then you have this kind of the pressure switch sticking out the end gonna get knocked this one if you can actually kind of focus it the way I've done it it was actually fairly well um, recessed in there there will be a little bit of stick out but what I probably will do is make a little bracket out here to kind of give it a bit of a bump protection there all right so finally got this thing back together um, with the press pressure switch rigged in line with the um, power switch and right now it's actually turned on look at that probably hard to tell it's actually turned on but until you put it as soon as you uh, pull the trigger basically the pressure drops below 120 psi and the pump kicks in so that'll make it so if you're pumping up tires it kind of cuts out when you're walking between each tire and um, this is a feature in quite expensive one um, air compressors but um, it's taken me quite a while to do it as I mentioned previously but uh, all comes down to that little guy. The only thing I want to do now is kind of try to protect this uh, switch a bit because it's quite open. But um, otherwise, I am pretty happy with how this little machine's working. All right, that's it. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one.